our channel, The Sweet Life of Twins. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make like this and one with crayons. So, so the pencil one I got inspiration from, from Crafty Girl. I'll try to leave her channel down below. And then this one I came up by myself. I saw a Bath and Body Works candle jar and thought, well, that would look cute with crayons on it because I plan on making a pencil one, so I thought to incorporate more color, I would add crayons, and I really like how they both turned out. So yeah, these are very inexpensive. You can use these as gifts for your teacher, whether you're, it's like your child's teacher, or you're in high school, or you know a teacher, or you are a teacher yourself and want to decorate your classroom. There's like several different things you can do. You, you don't have to use pencils, you can use colored pencils. You can put things, like you don't have to put flowers in them, you can put school supplies or candy or something like that. Um, the options are limitless and you definitely can get creative with this, so that's why I like it so much. I don't know how to make these vases, then keep on watching. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need the smallest circular vase that kind of looks similar to this. I sell like, I want to say two other sizes. You need the smallest one. You're going to need some pencils. I will give you exact an exact amount. And so that's going to be the first step is we're going to put those on. I'm gonna, if you're giving this to a teacher as a gift or something, be cautious that it could break. So you might want to go for a plastic option or a, an option that's not glass so just keep that in mind so I'm just gonna simply remove my pencils Make sure that they're not sharpened what we're gonna do is basically we're going to hot glue them with the number two in jot facing in So it roughly took about 38 pencils, so you would have to buy two packs of pencils. As you can see, my pencils are a different shade. The ones by Jot are a little bit yellower, and then I didn't... I thought one pack would be good enough, but it wasn't, so I used just some pencils that I had laying around. So my, since mine's not a gift, it's just for like decoration, I'm just going to leave it like that and have that facing the back. So now we're going to go ahead and decorate it. So you're gonna need some wire cutters. I recommend the ones at Dollar Tree. They do a decent job. I don't have any floral foam with me or at home. I'm gonna use plastic bags. It works, it's cheap. You know, you can't beat it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put flowers. I got three bundles and I chose red roses because I thought they were pretty neutral, seasonal neutral, and like, you know, teachers, you think of red apples, so that's another reason why I chose red. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tie a bow. So for this one, this one isn't necessarily all coming from Dollar Tree. This is a Bath and Body Works candle jar. I got this idea a few days ago thinking that the candle jar would be similar in size to crayons. I've never seen this, but we're going to give it a try. They are perfect size, and I'm, I am going to leave Crayola facing out. And the thing about these crayons, they are actually cheaper at Walmart to purchase two 24 packs for a dollar so basically they're 50 cents each you can get crayons at Dollar Tree they're just more expensive because you're only getting 24 or so for a dollar um, with these I wanted Crayola brand I'm kind of being a label person right now I wanted Crayola because I knew I was gonna leave that part facing out 
So, so it's gonna be similar in how I did the pencils, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it. these are the final products this is what the pencil vase looks like I'm very pleased with how it turned out I think it's super cute for school so and then this one is how the crayon one turned out which I will have to say this is my favorite one I just really like how the crayons look and you definitely can get creative with the crayons you can like you know put them in order or you can just use crayons you like or whatever you want but I really really like how this one turned out I think this would look so cute in a classroom. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you like our videos and wanna get notified when we upload. Again, thank you guys so much and I'll talk to you next time.